Hey, today we're going to talk about electric vehicles. You, you, what are you laughing at? I was laughing because I heard something uh, about the models. The Model S, the Model E, <laughs> and the Model X. The Model Y. Oh, yeah, and the Model the, Y, yeah. Like the X came afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it was like sexy. Sexy, yeah. <laughs> oh, Elon. <laughs> oh, Elon. Like them or hate them. I don't know. Like, I used to not, I used to like despise kind of what they were doing. One, because they were in our industry and like they're still in our industry and they just suck. Yeah. And their marketing is all lies. Like, a lot of the stuff yeah. is like, he's got I, a hell of a marketing engine. And he used to say some shit that pisses me off. But more and more, I think he's changing. Yeah, I used to not like them because of the kind of the way that they run, like that business is like crowd crowdfunding his ideas almost. Like, yeah. and he's a smart guy, and you're right, they have a crazy marketing engine. But like, he says some stuff that I'm like, what the fuck, Elon? But then he says some shit that I can get behind right. also too. So like, and then he bought fucking Twitter, or he, he's like the biggest stakeholder in Twitter now, because yeah. he wants the freedom of speech. Of speech which I was behind. I'm by that, behind that too, but then I saw him comment on something on, fa to, on Mark Zuckerberg, like, watch out, I'll come by Facebook. Like, right. Whatever, Karen. <laughs> like, stop <laughs> fucking being a Karen, like, right? So, and then poor uh, Karen's everywhere, because, you know. Their name's Karen. Their name's Karen. There's a governor. There's like a potential governor can candidate named Karen running for governor How, or something here. What does it feel like to be named Karen? I think that that originated was that fucking that mom of like eight or whatever it was like a the, the original oh character. the Octomom? Like, mom yeah the, no no not I, I don't think it was Octomom. it was some show on TLC or yes. some shit oh. was her name Karen I can't remember hmm. Matthew you'll, you'll look it up. I'm sure you'll look it up put a picture there <laughs> let's talk about electric vehicles love them hate them I like them I think I don't think obviously I got my own opinions on the fact that they're going to be mandated or that they're the government's pushing them and stuff like that but i like the idea of, of electric vehicles sure it's just another energy source right to to run fucking vehicles around um i think that they've already determined that currently they're more expensive to run an electric vehicle than it is to run a gasoline vehicle but that's not what they're pushing right now they're telling you that right especially with gas gas is five bucks a gallon at the time of this video was created during the making of this video gas was five dollars a gallon <laughs> for reference only um people i, I mean my book a friend of mine was like, I'm going to go buy, gas prices are so crazy, I got to go buy something more, more efficient. Like, he's got a truck. He's got a big truck. He's like, man, gas is killing me. Like, uh -huh. I'm going to go buy a car that's more fuel I can not. Like, right. You're going to go spend $40,000? On a vehicle. Because you have to pay $2 more a gallon? And then I hear the fucking government preaching that like the uh, the um the administration is preaching that electric vehicles are cheaper and you guys need to be you guys yeah. need to get in electric vehicles because you're going to save all this money and the poor people are poor because they can't because they have to pay five dollars a gallon for gas right so i crunched some numbers yep really quickly of course you know two plus two carry the one it's like seven <laughs> you know whatever so like i just looked at my i looked at my truck right like i put in 25 gallons a, a week Mint, like I figure, like that's a good average, twenty-five gallons a week. I don't know how much you're driving, but like you fill up once a week, give or take. Mm -hmm. Gas is up two dollars from where it was, you know, from where it was when nobody was complaining about it, right? Right, right. So right. it went from three dollars to five dollars, which is a pretty significant jump. So at twenty-five gallons a week, times two dollars, fifty. Carry the one. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. fifty. Right? Yeah. So, and then 50 times 52 weeks. There's 52 weeks in a year. <laughs> right? So, that's $2,600. Mm. So, you're paying yeah. $2,600 more for gas than you were, I don't know, six pre-pandemic, whatever. Right, right, right. Even, right. even six months ago, eight months ago, right? So, how much does, how, how much does a Tesla cost? I don't know, like 40 probably. Minimum. Yeah, 40 minimum. I think minimum. I've seen them at 60, yeah. 70. Depends on what you're getting. Most but, of yeah. these cars are going to, like, are costing you $50,000. So let's take $50,000. How long is it? a good average. So take it at $50,000, is going to take you 20 fucking years to save, to pay for the gas you saved. Yeah. Like to, to make the to make the difference versus what you're driving, right? 
Well, and you're just buying electricity instead. You still got to buy. not even counting the electricity uh -huh. you have to buy to run your electric vehicles. 20 years. How long is the batteries good for in an electric vehicle? <laughs> we work with batteries all the time. Yeah. And we work with top battery manufacturers, not Tesla. And all Tesla of them. Tesla doesn't, like, Tesla is not making their own battery. They're out, like, they're using, they're outsourcing, like. And Tesla's home, like, batteries are a different technology than the, than the best the batteries on the market. So how long is the how long is the battery warranty for? Like in everything else we do, I've never seen anything more than ten years. Ten years, yeah. Never seen anything more than ten years. Yep. So now you, you'll never. It's never going to pay back. No. So it's never going to pay back. So really, the only message they can push is the global warming, which is they, which <laughs> the left consider that to be like the number one issue in facing mankind right now. Like it. If if you're going to buy a vehicle specifically because of gas prices, like it uh, that's it's, it just doesn't make sense. If you're just going to buy a new vehicle because you're going to buy a new vehicle either way, and you're going to choose between electric or gasoline, right? At that point, maybe you got to run right. your own numbers. As at long that as point. there's like, no current like expense, right? Like if you have, if you're going to do it, you're going to buy one. That's your first car. By all means, I'm 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 on board. Right, right, right. I'm on board with electric vehicles, but like you can't be, you can't be like, uh, hey, we're gonna move to electric vehicles. You guys gotta s get rid of all your gas guzzling stuff. Yep. And now there's an expense that's never gonna get repaid. It's like you have to start somewhere. Now we get into the other side of the argument for electric vehicles, right? There's the it can save money. Uh, it's a different fuel source, right? Now there's the environmental aspect of what the government or whoever's pushing right. with these electric vehicles. Right. Now you don't have to use oil, right, for gasoline. But what the fuck are we gonna do with all these batteries? Right. Ten years from now. Like, there's going to be fucking landfills of just batteries if we do it this way. Like, right. so we need to figure something out there. So it's, is always, it better for the environment? There's is always going to be a problem. Right. They, they think that there's no rare minerals that are making cars. Like, gas is our only finite resource. Like, this is not true. People are stealing catalytic converters left oh and right because of finite resources. This is... There's a delay on everything in manufacturers because of the chips, and you can't have the chips because of the finite resources. So, yep. like, this is not a fucking, pro it's not a solution to any problem that we have. It's a, everything's a problem. So we just have to deal with that. But here's a, here's the problem is it's not going to save you any fucking money. And I see, right? And then now you got California who's saying by 2035, you will not be allowed to even sell a gas powered light duty vehicle right light yep. duty light duty or a passenger truck like anything like with more than two people in it which i don't i don't really understand How many years because is that? it's 12 Cal years california's got some energy problems like right. california's got the most energy issues in our whole entire country and they're over there going like we need you to use energy we need for our vehicles yeah we need yeah. more electrical like, use yeah how the fuck does that make any it's sense? It's not going to work. Like, so let's think about that too, right? So, because they do, they have brown out rolling, but, but until the infrastructure's there for electrical vehicles, we're all going to be trapped to our house. Yeah. We're all going to be literally governed to power at our home, at our own home and not be able to go anywhere. I go to the grocery store now, there's a hundred fucking parking spots in the grocery store that I go to in just my fucking square mile. And there's probably 50 cars in it every time I go there. Mm -hmm. How many electric vehicle charges do you see in that parking lot? None. I mean, None. In, I think None in the, by me. I think in the five square miles around my house, I think I can tell you where one fucking charge, like one charger out in the open for the public is. And actually, it's not even public. It's like a business. A business, a business put it put in put for it their in. employees. Yeah. But like, where the fuck are we going to charge these things? Where everybody's going to be stuck at home. Wow. I love electric vehicles on the flip side because, hey, I'm an electrician, and now we get to wire. We got to, we're gonna have to fucking put in chargers everywhere, left and right, this mm -hmm. and that. Like, and who's gonna end up paying for that? The government starts to they're mandate, gonna mandate something. something yeah. They're gonna subsidize the cost to do that, right? Yep. It's just how they work because they're fucking because they don't care. It's not their money, right? Yeah. But they just spend money to spend money. Can can we get chargers every fucking where? By 2035? So, like, or are we just going to be handcuffed? I think it's coming. 
Like, I don't, th I think it's going to get here regardless of, you know, the way we think or the way we want it to be, right? Sure. Sooner or later. It's not going to be by 2030, maybe. 2035. 2035. Uh, uh, although autonomous vehicles, they have a mandate of, they have to be electric by 2030. Mm. Which is eight mm. years from now. Wow. So we're just going to throw away all the good cars that use gas. Although there's a company that we just did some work for um, that are converting those fuel cars to electric cars. So like they take out all the stuff and, and then convert it to an electric car. But it costs almost as much as a new car. I'm ready. I'm ready for them to put wireless charging stations into parking spots. That's what I think the future has. So you just like roll up. You just over roll the coal, over it. Over it. Just like you do with the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Throw that into some parking spots. Hi. What? I wonder what the long-term effects is on the human body. For those things? For, yeah, like. Yeah. Because I think about, like, a 5G. They talk about 5G's fucking with people's minds. And I'm mm -hmm. starting to think that it's it's real. Because there are some people I know and trust that are, like. Being they, weird. They, 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 they're <laughs> slipping in the words that they're using. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> fuck. I, I, lost, just, I lost my train of I thought. just got a 5G phone. I lost my train of thought. Chocolate covered strawberries is the only way to go. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, I love to go hunting. I love to go camping. I love to go places that electric vehicles, one, electric vehicles aren't created to get there yet, right? Like, I think Ford's got a truck coming out. That, yeah. is, is, is our electric vehicles all wheel drive? I don't know. I don't know anything about them. So, like, I like I to get. Either. I like to go places where I need a four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. I like to go places where my cell phone doesn't even work. Right. I like yeah. to go places where there's no electricity. How how are they going? To, like, are they just going to tell you that now everybody's in an electric vehicle and you're not allowed to go camping anymore because you can't because you, there's no fucking charging or electrical out there? No, you just got to bring your gas generator with you. So that when your truck or your car runs out of electricity, you can you can charge it, start that thing up, and charge it on that gasoline. How long do you think it's going to take to charge the fucking thing? So, <laughs> you know, you think about when you're stranded, when you run out of gas, you get a gas can, fills you up, go to the gas pump, and you fill up. What is that, 20 minutes? Maybe. It depends on where you're at. I mean, yeah. it could be an hour or here and there, but like... Think about how long it takes to fill up a gas with car, a, a, a car with gas. See, there's a 5G. Fucking cook, cook. three minutes. Three minutes. How long is it going to take you to fucking charge your vehicle when you run out in the middle of nowhere where there's like you, one, you have to get towed. So there's really no, maybe it is a generator. You're carrying around a fucking generator in your trunk, which I've seen that too. <laughs> right. Um, but it's just the inconvenience of it all, right? It's so, everything in life we do is for more convenience to make it yeah. easier, to make life easier. Like why are, so now it, we're gonna have this. And then there's like, you know, you gotta change with the times, I get that. Like now you don't have horses on the road. If you wanna ride a horse, it's like a special to do. Like you gotta go rent and it's like, a, it's like something you do every now and then at, for nostalgia or something fun. Is that how gasoline vehicles are going to be? Like, if I want right. to go camping, do I got to go get a special permit to have a vehicle that I can take four-wheel drive and carry a substance that's finite? Like, Yeah, so, so like the first vehicles, like the people who had them, how hard was it for them to get this gasoline or ethanol or whatever they were putting in those vehicles at that until time? Until it was everywhere. Until it was everywhere, yeah. Right. But it... So, I mean, this is the evolution that we're seeing in humankind. But I feel I feel like they're pushing this message like gas is so expensive. And I'm hearing it regurgitated from my friend. Gas is so expensive. I need a better car. I need a car that's like, are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah, rent went up. Rent went up 200 bucks a month. Okay, so I'm going to move. Rent went up 200 bucks a month. I'm going to move. It only cost me $3,000 to move all my shit. <laughs> huh? Did you guys get... So, so you could have stayed exactly where you're at and not sweat but, and, and save 600 bucks. Right. You know what I mean? Like, these are the things people don't think about. They look at what they're like, oh, my pocket... My, your fucking payment's going to go up on every fucking thing. The new car no. payments are up. You're going to pay higher registration because it's a new car. 
I pay fucking over a hundred bucks in registration a month. Oh, man. oh my God! Don't get me fucking started. <laughs> registration. Like, you register your vehicle. It's if they call it registration. Don't call it registration. Call it fucking. Your, call it something else. Because some kind of tax. It's a tax. I, unless it changes hands, it should remain registered to me. Yes. Unless yeah. I give it to somebody else or sell it to somebody else. It's like a tax based on value. <sighs> then why Every don't we just year. make a fucking sales tax? Like, why don't we just make a sales tax and I could just pay for it up front when I buy the fucking truck? Oh, because I might not buy the truck? Mm. What? Because I should have a choice? <laughs> That's another Off episode. Tangent. Another episode. Electric vehicle. So, so which I got, which electric vehicle would you get if you were going to get one? You going to get that Tesla truck? With the unbreakable stop. window? Stop. I think Tesla pulled the truck oh, off they? the line. I don't think they're going to do it, one. And two, how can you fucking throw it? Like, you, he literally lobbed, he was like, and that window broke. This is a tank. It's undestructible windows. Like, you couldn't get one undestructible window? Like, they make them. If you're literally, part of your game plan was to bring a baseball out in your pocket, like, and throw it. The one, the throw was embarrassing. I feel like it was a left-handed 13-year-old. You know, like... Uh, I don't want to say... I feel like it was a girl throwing left-handed even right-handed. Then there's the ugliest fucking truck in the world. Like, Yeah. That, oh, it's fucking I'm ugly. I'm in Marcus's oh, truck my this God. week. And he's got a toolbox and a six-foot bed. And I tried to put some shit in there. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's what that truck... That truck looked like an El Camino. Like, uh, it's got a little El Camino bed. Like, mm -hmm. it's probably less than an El Camino bed. Like, what are you going to put, put in that fucking thing? That's not a truck. It fits my ladder. <laughs> We're not going to talk about your We're not going to get We're not going to talk about your ladder in public. I, no, I don't really want to buy a Tesla because, one, they're my competitor. I don't want to support, I don't necessarily want to feed the engine that's competing, that we're competing against. Yeah. On the, I mean, Tesla Solar, Tesla, it's all the same, same thing, right? It's all the yeah. same. Like, I don't want to do that. All right. For me, if you get an electric vehicle, like, you should probably also get solar so that you can produce your own electricity at a cheaper rate, you know? Sure. And it makes a little bit more sense when you're running numbers, when you're buying electricity at four cents versus do you think that 20 all, cents. Do you think that by the time 2035 rolls around, all electric vehicles are going to have built-in solar panels? Or they're going to be made out of solar? It's not Out of solar enough. thin film? They're just going to be painted with thin, thin film? It's not enough. Not yet. It takes a big fucking solar have, panel. Because they don't have the efficiency yet. Yeah. Anyways, I don't, I'm not, I'm not on board yet with a mandate, you know, of electric vehicles. I just don't think it's affordable yet. Uh, yeah. One day it will be, but definitely California's got some struggles. Well, California's a bunch of fucking, not all of you, but there are a bunch of idiots in California making, making stupid decisions. And one is their fucking utility grid is the worst probably in the in the United States. Mm -hmm. and, they're try, and they're trying 100%. to triple, if not quadruple or more, the the consumption on, or the, yeah, the consumption, the consumption. of energy and the tax, like the, what's the word I'm looking for? The taxation, not the tax, like they're going to tax that system more, taxing on the system. Oh, yeah. yeah right? Taxing on the system. Yeah, the grid. Taxation yeah. on the grid. Yeah, it's yeah. like motherfuckers. Moral of the story, $2 extra in gas does not equate to enough to drop everything and buy an electric vehicle. My moral of the story is, fuck California. <laughs>